I'm looking at Viburnum davidi. Viburnum davidi, again, we know Adoxaceae is our family. This one is actually hardy zone seven to nine. It's native to China. It's an evergreen shrub for us. And this one stays compact, about two to four feet tall by about four feet wide. So you can see it has more of a spreading habit. So more spreading than upright, two to four feet tall by about four feet wide. Now we know on viburnum, opposite leaves, rabbit ear buds. You can see the little rabbit ears. They're opening up now to new growth. You can have a burgundy coloration on the new growth. And sometimes you have some burgundy coloration in the fall. For ID, your leaf is elliptic, but it's kind of this long drawn out elliptic leaf. So you see how it's kind of a long drawn out leaf. They can get up to six inches in length. Then you look for that kind of narrow elliptic leaf and you can see you have that maroon or reddish coloration on the petiole like you do on the new growth. Look for the three main veins. On the leaf, you'll see the mid vein and then two side veins arching up along the margin. So three main veins, the mid vein, and then one on each side of the mid vein arching up with a leaf. And that's the best way to identify David I, David's viburnum, viburnum David I. Uh, this one flowers for us again like the others. We think about April to May. They're budding up now. They're pinkish in bud. They're going to open to white in these terminal clusters. Um, this one is one of our non-sterile or our productive uh, species. So you will get fruit. Um, Sometimes they're said to be dioecious, and I'm not sure if you have to have male or female or what it is with the cultivars, but you'll get this nice terminal flower cluster of the little small flowers that we see in the fruiting species of viburnum. And then you'll get that pretty bluish turquoise -ish, pretty blue fruit that we see on the viburnums that the birds love. So major songbird attractant. The flower is a butterfly attractant. Um, what else on this one? Oh, as far as tolerances, same kind of as the others. We go full sun to part shade. This one doesn't love drought and not maybe as drought tolerant as some of the others we've seen. So full sun to part shade, moist, well-drained soils best, mixed border, probably your best bet or wildlife attractant for your use, pollinator attractant as well. So viburnum David I or David's viburnum, look for that more elongated leaf with the three main veins.